हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज दीपक कलोने एंड यू आर वेलकम टू आवर चैनल फॉरेंसिक सर्च इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी सम इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस ऑफ स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ साइंटिफिक असिस्टेंट इन फॉरेंसिक साइंस लैबोरेटरी दिस वीडियो विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द साइंटिफिक असिस्टेंट पोस्ट इन फॉरेंसिक साइंस लैबोरेटरी स्पेशली इन द डिवीजन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री biology serology as well as physics this video will be also helpful for the preparation of net grf examination in forensic science chemical science physical science as well as biological science so let's start this video from the question number 1 and the question number 1 is the spectrum obtained by white light is known as there are four options out of which first option is plane spectra option b is continuous spectrum option c is simple spectrum and option d is line spectrograph so if anybody knows the answer of this question they can do with me now i will tell the correct answer of this question the correct answer of this question is option b that is the spectrum obtained by white light is known as continuous spectrum then the second question is from the following dash dash detector is used in the visible spectroscopy option a photovoltaic cell option b photo emissive cell option c photo multiplier tube that is pmt and option d all of the above so the correct answer of this question is option d that is all of the above detectors are used in the visible spectroscopy then the next question is which of the following techniques will be most useful for detection of impurity in a compound option a atomic absorption spectroscopy that is aas option b IR spectroscopy, option C, HPLC, and option D, NMR. That is nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. So the correct answer of this question is HPLC is the most useful technique for the detection of impurity in a compound. Then the next question is the film exposed by X-rays is called X. option a spectrograph option b radiograph option c chromatograph and option d photograph so the correct answer of this question is option b that is radiograph spectrograph is a graph obtained in spectroscopy chromatograph chromatography wala hai photograph simple camera se we can do a photographs so the correct answer the film exposed by x rays is called as radiograph then the next question is the phenomenon of emission of electrons from a metal surface when it exposed to radiation of suitable wavelength is known as option a zeeman effect option b photoelectric effect option c quantum effect and option d excitation effect so the correct answer of this question is photoelectric effect and this effect was invented by the albert einstein then the next question is calorimetry is most appropriately used in dash dash region option a infrared option b ultraviolet option c visible and option d microwave so the correct answer of this question is option c that is calorimetry is most appropriately used in visible region then the next question is for liquid sample preparation in ir most suitable solvent is option a kbr option b ch2 that is carbon disulfide then option c co2 and option d h2so4 so the correct answer of this question is option b ch2 not option a kbr kbr is used in the preparation of solid samples 
but most suitable solvent used for the preparation of liquid samples in IR is carbon disulfide. Then the next question is, in the electromagnetic spectrum, dash dash has highest energy. Option A, radio waves. Option B, microwaves. Option C, X-rays. And option D, cosmic waves. So the correct answer of this question is option D, that is cosmic waves. Then the next question is, IR spectra is plotted as option A, absorbance versus transmittance, option B, percentage transmittance versus time, option C, percentage transmittance versus wavelength, and option D, wavelength versus time. So the correct answer of this question is option C, that is percentage transmittance versus wavelength. Then the next question is, which solvents are commonly used for working in the near UV region? Option A, alcohol. Option B, ethers. Option C, nitrocellulose. And option D is both A and B. So the correct answer of this question is option D, that is both A and B. In UV region, most commonly used solvents are alcohol and ethers because both of them absorbs at wavelength shorter than 185 nanometer. That's why alcohol and ethers are the most commonly used solvents for the working in the near UV region. Then the next question is, the selection rule for IR spectra is, option A, delta J is is equal to plus minus 1, then option B, delta J is plus or minus 2, then option C, delta J plus or minus 3, and option D, delta J plus or minus 4. So the correct answer of this question is option A, that is delta J is plus or minus 1, is the selection rule used in IR spectroscopy. Plus 1 is for absorption and minus 1 is for emission. Then the next question is, the functional groups of organic compounds responsible for absorption in UV visible are called as Option A, chromatogram Option B, chromophores Option C, interferogram And Option D, none of the above. So the correct answer of this question is option B, that is chromophores is the functional groups of organic compounds which is responsible for absorption in UV and visible spectroscopy. Then the next question is, the source of radiation in IR spectrophotometer is option A, stung tongue lamp, option B, nurse glower, option C, deuterium lamp, and option D, hydrogen lamp. So the correct answer of this question is option B, that is nursed glower is the source of radiation in IR spectrophotometer. So in this question, tungsten filament or tungsten lamp is used in visible spectroscopy and deuterium and hydrogen lamp is used as a source of radiation in UV spectroscopy. So, the nurse clover is used in IR spectrophotometer. Then the next question is, from the following, dash dash is the example of interference filter. Option A, color glass. Option B, CAF2. Option C, dye suspended in gelatin. And option D, all of the above. So, the correct answer of this question is option B, that is CAF2 is used as interference filter. Then the next question is, which pair from the following is not correct? Option A, electronic spectra, UV. Option B, vibrational spectra, IR. Option C, rotational spectra, microwave. And option D, absorption spectra by MS. That is mass spectroscopy. So, the correct answer of this question is option D, that is absorption spectra is not given by mass spectroscopy. That's why this 
pair is not correct one then the next question is hello cathode lamps that is hcl is concerning with dash dash spectroscopy option a mass spectroscopy option b ir spectroscopy option c atomic absorption spectroscopy that is aas and option d nmr that is nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy so the correct answer of this question is hello cathode lamp is concerning with the atomic absorption spectroscopy it is the source of light used in atomic absorption spectroscopy then the next question is for detection of organophosphorus compounds which detector is used option a fid option b npd option c tcd that is thermal conductivity detector and option d pmt photo multiplier tubes so correct answer of this question is option b that is nitrogen phosphorus detector is used for the detection of organophosphorus compounds in any biological matrices then the next question is in mass spectroscopy ionization of a sample can be achieved by option a electron ionization then option b chemical ionization option c desorption techniques and option d all of the above so the correct answer of this question is option d that is all of the above then the next question is the internal standard used for detection of alcohol in blood by gchs that is gas chromatography head space spectroscopy method is option a n heptane option b ethyl acetate option c n propanol and option d diethyl ether so the correct answer of this question is option c that is n propanol basically for the detection of alcohol in blood the sample preparation is like 0.5 ml blood plus 0.5 ml internal standard is taken 0.5 ml internal standard means 0.2% weight by volume solution of normal propanol is used for the detection of alcohol in blood by gchs method then the next question is for identification and quantification of abuse drugs and their metabolites in blood and urine dash dash spectroscopy is the best one option a uv spectroscopy option b mass spectroscopy option c raman spectroscopy and option d nmr spectroscopy so the correct answer of this question is mass spectroscopy is a most suitable technique or spectroscopy for detection and quantification of abuse drugs and their metabolites in blood and urine then the next question is if all the radiation absorbed in ir spectroscopy the transmittance is dash dash percentage option a 0% option b 25% option c 50% and option d 100% so the correct answer of this question is 0% then the next question is dash dash spectroscopy deals with the interaction of radio frequency electromagnetic radiations with the nuclei of molecules placed in a strong magnetic field option a raman spectroscopy option b nuclear magnetic resonance that is nmr spectroscopy option c infrared spectroscopy and option d all of the above so the correct answer of this question is option b that is nmr spectroscopy deals with interaction of radio frequency electromagnetic radiations then the next question is in ir spectroscopy if no any radiation is absorbed the transmittance is option a 0% option b 25% option c 50% and option d 100% so the correct answer of this question is option d that is 100% especially in ir spectroscopy if no any radiation is absorbed the transmittance is 100% and if all the radiation is absorbed 
the transmittance is 0%. Then the next question is, the range of fingerprint region in an IR spectrum is, option A, 4000 to 1000 centimeter inverse, option B, 1450 to 500 centimeter inverse, option C, 4000 to 400 centimeter inverse, and option D, none of the above. So the correct answer of this question is option B, that is 1450 to 500 centimeter inverse is known as fingerprint region. And option A, that is 4000 to 1000 centimeter inverse is known as functional group region. And option C, that is 4000 to 400 centimeter inverse is the whole range of IR spectrum. Then the next question is, the most common instruments for atomic emission spectroscopy, that is AES, contain option A, LED, option B, plasma torch, option C, tungsten filament, and option D, deuterium. So the correct answer of this question is option B, that is plasma torch is used for atomic emission spectroscopy because this plasma produces high temperature, nearly 8000 Kelvin. That's why this plasma torch is used in atomic emission spectroscopy. Then the next question is, the resolving power of a spectrometer is its ability to separate dash dash dash. Option A, two compounds. Option B, adjacent ions. Option C, adjacent spectral lines. And option D is different light sources. So the correct answer of this question is the resolving power of a spectrometer is its ability to separate adjacent spectral lines. Then the next question is the type of spectrometry that uses electrons to bombard a sample is option A, UV spectroscopy, option B, IL spectroscopy, Option C, mass spectroscopy, and option D, NMR spectroscopy. So the correct answer of this question is option C, that is mass spectroscopy. Then the next question is, compounds having spin number dash 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 cannot be studied by NMR. Option A, I is equal to 0. Option B, I is equal to 1 by 2. Option C, I is equal to 1 and option D, all of the above. So the correct answer of this question is option A, that is compounds having spin number I is equal to 0 cannot be studied by NMR. But the compounds having the spin number I is equal to 1 by 2 and I is equal to 1 can be studied by NMR. So in this question, the correct answer is the compounds having spin number I is equal to 0 cannot be studied by NMR. So friends, these are some important questions of spectroscopy that will be helpful for the preparation of scientific assistant examination in chemistry, biology and physics division. Thanks for watching our channel Forensic Search. Thank you.